In this video, we got a gameplay on the new free Dark Matter Rush John Morant and NBA 2K23. My team is going to be one of the five new Dark Matters from the Rush set. He's going to be a 99 overall point guard shooting guard, and he is six foot three. But we know Jaw is going to be super athletic and can definitely knock down threes and shoot at a very high level with a 97 three ball, 98 mid range. That's probably one of Jaw's specialties now. He's also got a 99 driving dunk, so he's going to be great at getting to the rim. He's also got a 98 ball handle. He's got great defensive stats for a John Morant card. 90 block, 98 steal, 97 perimeter, 92 interior defense. So for a Jaw card, going to be really good defense. And then he's also going to be very athletic. 95, 99 in the speed category, 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 99 speed with ball. And then he also does have a 99 vertical, 98 lateral quickness, 90 strength so jaw is going to be a super athletic point guard and then you take a look at his badges he's got 35 on hall of fame we know he's going to have tons of shooting badges including green machine guard up limitless range volume shooter he's also got ankle breaker clamp breaker handles for days hyper drive killer combos quick first step anchor clamps interceptor pick dodger and pogo stick as well then he's also got 22 gold badges giving dark matter jaw a total of 50 seven total badges in the game but yeah i do think jaw is going to be a really fun point guard to be using just because he's going to be super athletic and he's going to be great offensively now how great of a point guard will he be in game that's obviously what i do want to test out and see what his dribble sigs look like first he's still going to have that john Morant size up which is okay it's a decent size up he's got the john wall escape so he's got some pretty good dribble sigs looking at that jump shot it's a quick release it is definitely a fast jump shot but we know jaw can shoot at a very high level and he's got not a bad jump shot it's pretty quick but should be able to green fairly consistently which is nice for john moran so i am really excited to try this card out i think he's going to be really really fun to use in game as i keep missing i, I keep missing shots i'm not gonna lie this is not jaw-esque as we just keep missing shots right now the jump shot is a lot quicker than i kind of am ex ex expecting but yeah john moran does have a great jump shot going to the basket he's going to be amazing at finishing at the rim and this is where he's going to be super fun is just going to the basket dunking on people is going to be extremely fun with john morant but now let's go green number three and let's get on to the dark matter john morant gameplay into the clutch time game here with dark matter jaw wick <clears throat> sorry john morant I, I do think he's going to be a solid defender for the point guard position trying to get back out here on i think that's chris paul as he's going to miss that wide open three and we're looking to push the ball here in transition can we get to the paint john morant attacking that rim not a great look there for jaw but look at that athleticism from john morant able to get his own offensive rebound and get that put back standing dunk this card i mean he is just going to be absolutely insanely athletic as my opponent going all the way to the basket getting that easy dunk to go but yeah let me know what you guys do think about john morant as we're looking to get to that paint once again trying to find ralph sampson on the inside and great playmaking from jaw able to get that easy assist and look at john moran getting that steal pulling up in transition and we're gonna get bailed out i think from the four point line and we do have four free throws here with dark matter jaw i think he's gonna be a really good offensive point guard at least super fun to use he may not be the greatest point guard in the world he might not be top 10 obviously top 15 top 20 he might not even be in the top 25 point guard range but i do think he's gonna be really fun to use so if you guys are looking for a fun point guard I think John Moran can definitely be your option as we're going to miss that third free throw there, but we do have five points, one rebound, and one assist on the clutch time game. Got to play some good defense here. Got to watch that drive inside. Good defense here from the squad and Jaw. Almost got a reach and foul, but look at Jaw clamp it up on the defensive end, but we give him way too much space, but my opponent going to miss that wide open three, and we're looking to push that ball here in transition. John Moran fading from the three-point line, and he's able to knock it down. John Morant, man, he is absolutely hooping on the offensive end right now. Gotta watch that step back three. He's gonna try to pull up with Chris Paul. Can we get the rebound? Yes, we do. Looking to find Jaw out here running in transition. You know John Morant going to the basket is gonna be good, but Chris Paul able to actually block him there going for that dunk attempt just didn't really get the best dunk animation there but gotta look to play some good defense gotta watch that drive in we're here with John Morant good defense on Bill Walton that is the best defense possible 
you know, with John Morant, but he is able to get that layup to go. I mean, so far, I'm pretty impressed with how, you know, how well Jaws playing is on the offensive end, trying to find Ralph Sampson on the inside. And that is a tree amongst men's uh, amongst men with Ralph Sampson. Can we get that steal? Got to get back here on Chris Paul. He's looking to go on the inside and he's going to draw two free throws. But let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about this new Dark Matter jaw? Are you guys maybe going to be looking to add him to your squad? I think right now he's about 55K, maybe 60K. So he is fairly expensive on the auction house as we're looking to find jaw here with a little bit of room. I got to get that dribble back, man. Got to get that dribble back. Get in the pick and roll here with John Morant going all the way to the basket. Jaw throwing it down right on Chris Paul's head. Man, that's what this car can do. He can just be so athletic and great at getting to the basket. Good defense there from the squad. We can't get the rebound though, man. How are we not able to get the rebound? My opponent going to chuck up another bad shot. I mean, John Morant, I'm not going to lie, playing a lot better than I was expected, and my opponent going to quit. Let's hop into another clutch time game. Into the second clutch time online game here with the Dark Matter John Morant. He actually played way better in that first clutch time game than I was expecting, but we are able to get that dunk there on the first possession. We did first uh, verse like a pretty weak opponent with a pretty weak squad, but now my second opponent here has got Tracy McGrady Dark Matter. He's got Invincible Shaq, but look at John Morant on the defensive end, able to get that steal. We're pushing the ball here in transition. It won't let me pass the ball to John Moran. I was literally trying to pass it to him like three or four times there, but looking to create some space. We're going to get him to jump. John Morant from that three-point line, and we're able to knock it down. John Morant has been hooping. I'm not going to lie to you guys. John Morant has actually been playing really, really good on the offensive side of the ball. That's a decent... I was about to say contest. I thought it threw him off there because it looked like I was going to contest and then I laid off last second. But yeah, it should be a much tougher test here going up against a way better squad. We got my opponent jumping for joy right now. Can we get to the basket? John Moran with the front clutch right over to Kembe Mutombo. And that's why this card is going to be so fun to use in game is because of his rim running ability, his, able, his ability to get to the basket and finish through contact, finish at the rim is what's going to make this card extremely fun to use. But look at Dikembe on them boards. We're trying to push it here in transition. We kind of have LeBron there wide open, but we got John Morant with the ball in his hands. Great pass inside to Ralph Sampson. We're going to get the ball almost stolen. Got about three seconds left here on the shot clock. Can we get anything off? That was just a bad, that was just a bad possession. My opponent playing some pretty good defense, but and John Morant with seven points here in the second clutch time game, still playing pretty good offensively. Got to maybe lock up a little bit more on the defensive end. That's where is that that's that, that is definitely where Jaw's going to struggle a little bit more is on defense. Got to get back there to the corner. Not good defense by me and my opponent's going to tie up the ball game. Come on, man. Let's get the ball into the hands of John Morant. We're looking to go around that screen from Ralph Sampson, trying to go all the way to the paint and him having those front clutches is super nice to have on John Morant. Means he's rarely ever going to get blocked. You know, he will get blocked sometimes because he is going to go for some crazy dunks, but he shouldn't get blocked as much as he probably would if he didn't have those front clutches as we're looking to play some good defense. So look at John Morant absolutely clamping up on the defensive end, looking to find John out here running in transition in and behind the defense and John Moran able to uh, finish that layup. I mean, this card, I'm not going to lie, for a six foot three point guard, he's actually playing a lot better than I expected. Maybe you guys thought he would be like a lot worse or a lot better. Let me know what you guys do think about though, Jaw. Like, do you guys think he'll be a runnable point guard? Are you guys maybe going to look to pick him up and add him to your squad? I mean, that's a good shot there by my opponent with the Kembe. I might pick up John Moran or I might keep this card on my team just to use him for the fun factor because I think he'll actually be a really fun point guard to use in the game as we're looking to find him on that inside. Can we finish at the rim? And that is good defense there from the Kembe. I mean, we are eventually going to get stopped at the rim. Look at my Ralph Sampson, though, playing some defense. Look at LeBron and Ralph Sampson in them passing lanes. We got John Moran out there running. What the hell just happened, Jaw? What are we doing? Looks like he just left the ball. I'm not sure even what I'm not even sure what just happened as we we're gonna force my opponent out of bounds there. But yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on this new Dark Matter John Morant card. I think the fun factor is there. He's gonna be a really fun point guard to use because of because of his athleticism, his ability to get to the basket and finish at the rim. John Morant and one. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Get into the basket, finishing through traffic and contact. That is what John Morant can do. As we knew got we, we do got 14 points on the ball game. Just been more focused on scoring the ball here in the second clutch time game. He did play really well on both ends of the ball in that first game. Is my opponent going to pull up there? John Morant was low-key about to grab that rebound, and my opponent's going to be out of here. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the John Morant gameplay, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.